Hi everyone, haven't made a video in a while. Today I just wanted to show you how you can make your leads sound better. I think it's more plucks, how to make your plucks sound better. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is write a nice little melody. I'm gonna find a nice little chord for you so you have something to uh, reference this to. All right, so let me show you the little melody we wrote with the uh, piano it has underneath it. All right, this is what it sounds like. All right, so obviously very boring, so we're gonna change it up. All right, so I'm gonna load my signature Soundstorm Pluck, which I'm sure you have all heard, it sounds like this. This is how you make it right here. You can pause the video and copy these settings if you wanna copy that. So I'm gonna add that to the mixer. And so this is our first little explanation of how to make your plucks sound better. The first thing you wanna do is obviously cut out the low ends, very standard stuff. Very important though, if you look at how I'm doing this, you don't wanna use these ones up here. You wanna use something a little more sloped off. So I'm gonna go with 30 off the start. So select 30. And then I usually I start around 400 and slope it off until about the 300 point. So now it's gonna sound like this. So now what I'm gonna do is add a reverb to it. This is something I love to do. I use the regular Fruity Reverb, and then it has this ambient preset right here, which is this. So um, I'll show you how you do this. So if we go back to the default, we're gonna increase the low cut a little bit. I start around 600. The high cut is how much high end of the reverb remains. So that's the high cut. So by covering this down, you are essentially removing the high end, the lower the number. So I like to keep that. Room size, I always go 100. That's as big as the uh, room can get. Color, I go in between warmer and warm, usually somewhere around here. We'll go with warm for now. High dampening is almost kind of think of it like how long the high end lasts for. That's the best way to explain that. So. Um, I'm not sure what the exact technical term for that would be, but I usually like to start somewhere around right here. Once we play it, you'll see this will sound pretty cool. Uh, the decay is obviously just how long it lasts for, because um, you can see the time interval right there. I'm going to go with, let's say, 9 to start. Then the dry, I just turn down a little bit. I go to usually like 75%, 80%, something like that. We'll just do 80 for now. And then I'm going to go 35% uh, on the pluck. So that is uh, essentially the basic settings that I use, but then you have to go into the mixer over here and you have to go to the reverb level. And I'm gonna start with halfway, we'll edit it later. Obviously, of course, you wanna add an OTT, so I'm gonna add an OTT and uh, let's just start with like 20% or something like that. And we'll do something like this and just decrease the mids a little bit so it's very plucky. Then go ahead and add a Fruity Delay. I use Fruity Delay 3 these days. You want to make sure right here in this mixer thing that the delay goes first. You don't want it to be after the reverb. And so I like to hit Keep Pitch. I'm going to go 8 on the time signature. And then I'm going to have this ping pong and I'm going to do half stereo. That's going to help uh, kind of just thin up the sound a little bit so it's not so muddy. Then take the level, something like this. And I usually turn the cutoff down a little bit. And then in here, in the actual mixer again, I turn this down to about 25%. I usually keep it pretty quiet. Somewhere around right there will be pretty okay for us. So now uh, I'm gonna play it without the effects and then I'm gonna play it with the effects. You're gonna hear how much it changed. So this is it now. Now let's listen to it with the effects. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I just took my microphone off my mic stand. I'm just holding it in front of my face right now. So I'm gonna add this stuff first, and then I'm gonna go in and tell you what I've added. So the first thing we're gonna do, I've been over this in my videos before, is add a snare. Find a very, very clicky one. This one will work just fine. Then I like to open my snare and go to this little envelope setting here. And then I usually make it very, very sharp. Something like this right here. This is just editing the waveform. So it becomes very sharp. And then what you have to do is uh, just move the notes to what you think sounds the best. This honestly will probably be fine. It's not gonna sound that much different. So now the pluck is gonna have a very sharp snare playing at the beginning of it. So obviously sounds very nice, but it needs to be a little quieter. So route that to the mixer, turn it down a little bit and add a low cut to get rid of that. Uh, bassy stuff in it that we don't need. 
All right, so the lead sounds pretty cool, right? Pretty awesome, but it needs to be more. So what I'm gonna do is add some layers to this to make this sound a lot more professional. So I like to use Nexus for the pianos because it has some really cool presets. Uh, this is something I just started doing recently. I like this preset right here, Arena Ambience, uh, which sounds like this. And then I also like the classic, everybody knows this one, the Ibiza piano right here. This is a great one. So now those pianos will sound like this. All right, and I actually right here have saved this channel preset. So once you follow everything that I just taught you, just go here, go to file and go to save as and just name it like pluck or something like that. And so I'm gonna load that because I have it saved as uh, Soundstorm pluck up here. So I already know that uh, you can see right here, this stuff, it already has everything already loaded up on it that we just went over. Um, just need to side chain it real quick, dude. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and done that, our little pluck is completed, and you are gonna hear all the changes we made have made an awesome pluck to go on top of this piano. So here's what the piano sounds like from the Skybreak pack. And now we put our melody on top of it, and this is what we came up with. So very cool. That's how I usually make a lot of the plucks in my songs that play in the little melodic parts. So uh, yeah, I've got lots of stuff coming. So please be sure to subscribe if you are new. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, we would love to have you back for another one. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for this video. My next one's going to be a banger. We're going to do a song start to finish. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, uh, yeah, that is going to be it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.